Okay, I'm Wale Aboyade, and today uh, in our part two of uh, design thinking as it applies to the African space and beyond, and also uh, we'll be talking about design thinking as it applies to content production. In content production, be it a photograph, be it a video, be it, be it an article, you must be able to apply design thinking. And the application of design thinking will allow you to know that you are designing, you are creating the content for a purpose, to give you a particular value, either monetary value, spiritual value, or even um, some other value. There are spiritual values, you must accept that reality. And that's why you have the religious sector. So, for spiritual value, I want to show you a simple one. This is a simple thing I did with Facebook too, just to change the mind of the children about Facebook. And you can see, I put, Papa was in Shiloh 2022, and Papa was talking about, we need a deliverer, not a leader, Bishop Oyedepo. I posted it on my Facebook page, Jesus TV, took a picture of it, and I turned into a small calendar. And I can hang it in my house, right there. And you can see how that looks. It's a nice one. We also had a t-shirt of this. Don't worry about that. We'll get to it. So we also have a t-shirt of this. Now guys, you're already laughing. You're already laughing at me. Because I'm about to cook. Yes, what is guys? What is let me stop this? What is design thinking without food? <laughs> what is Adobe Figma? What is Adobe Figma without food? <laughs> See, the, even, even if you are Michael Jackson and you can dance in front of five trillion people, at the end of the day, Michael Jackson will still have to sit down and put something in his world, in his stomach. So if the design doesn't start from what you eat, remember what you eat, you are what you eat, you are what you eat. So the design, even your, the thought of your ideas, the kind of things you think, we start from if you are well fed, if you are healthy, if you are not healthy. All of those things will affect your design. So I now said to myself, I went to the market. I started using design thinking to know where to buy yam at a cheaper rate. Because you know Nigeria economy now, they are not smiling. So even if I change dollar, I have to be careful changing the dollar so that people don't come and kidnap me. <laughs> That's another reality. They use people for all kind of uh, money ritual. That's the re reality in space. Because people are not smiling in Nigeria. So I said, for me to do content production, I must take it back to the people's world, stomach. So I said, I want to create my own soup. And I gave it a name, Peter Lee Water Soup, with pounded yam. Now, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound Western. It sounds totally African. And remember, this is design thinking as it relates to the African space and beyond. So I went and I started teaching. I did a video because before I get to social media space, where the consumers are, I have to create originality. And for you to create originality, you must be able to do something people have not seen before. You must be able to do something that will attract the mind of people. People can also learn from me. So I did a video about how to make Pandedia. I did it up to the point where I can go back. Uh, let's go back. You saw me in the kitchen doing the intro. Um, I don't know what this one is. So the soup is almost ready. I got my soup. After making my soup, I also went, I'm doing video of myself, just like this too. I went also, and I did the, So I have 
answer my stomach is the first priority. <laughs> so, you see, I'm going to, I did the whole video like that. From beginning cooking the soup, having the yam and everything. And then from there, I moved to another just rubber. So now, you can see what I'm, I now turn it into content production for where? And, okay, let's go back. You will see how it works. Okay, so uh, let's go forward. So we have to start from here. So you remember the last time I was in class? And you can see the YouTube channel. So we have different platforms under content production. And you must know how to migrate from one platform to the other to the other, seamlessly. Now, we also live in a world where we have hackers in all the social media spaces, including YouTube. But you must remember that space is like a physical ground. On ground, we have armed robbers coming to steal in your house. So you also have those uh, challenges in space. But you must not stop creating. You must not stop creating because those realities you can overcome. So in this case, now, you saw that whatever we are learning in class, I created a YouTube page to do the archive. And that process will allow us, this was the last class, that process will allow us to have what we call a space that is sustainable beyond what? The African space. People can watch what we're learning here in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, in America. Even in Omas, if they wish to do so. And you can see that all the content is about what we are doing over here. It's for a purpose. It's about creativity and design. So all the things we are doing in class, they are video content that can add value to people online. And you can see our page of creativity and design. That same creativity and design is what has now turned into a physical t-shirt that you can actually wear. And we have originality because we are, we are starting from envelope to t-shirt. There's nobody doing this in the whole universe. There's nobody doing this in the whole universe. That's the truth about that. Also, also, you can see that is why we call it excellent algorithm from Facebook. So design thinking, you can apply it to the type of content you create. Those content should be human-centered. Those content should address people's needs. When people see me pounding yam, cooking soup that they've not had before, they say, what is bitter leaf water soup? They will pay attention. <laughs> But we move on now, and you can see, that's me in the kitchen. Cooking, it became a content on social media. So before you even start having a Facebook page, a, an Instagram page, before you start creating a channel on YouTube, you must first create the content before you start. And I'm going to go into how to create a Facebook page here today. So now you can see, so this has the post experience. I used to see the postgraduate students, some of the people that did that t-shirt. That's their model over there. So, you can see some of the shoes and the stuff we're doing. You can see some of the things. You remember some of these things? This, these are you guys here. You are here. That moment is there forever. That moment is there forever. So, we can go down to Facebook. And on Facebook, you can see my Facebook page. But there's something I want to show you here. So. This is the dashboard for Facebook. Design thinking applies to Facebook. When you want to create a page on Facebook, you must be able to understand from the beginning that what you call your page is as important as the function you want it to perform. What you call your page is as important as the function you want it to perform. And in this case now, you can see I have different pages. Creativity and Design, Medical Village, Ondo State, Nigeria, which has now become a medical university in Ondo State on Niger Road. We also have the Wayne Yoruba. These are the pages I created. And all these pages have content that I'm building for it. Now, this is the dashboard. If you want to create a page on Facebook, you will have to go to your profile, and they will open the dashboard for you if you are using the desktop format. Now, you can see that you don't have pictures here right now. You don't have anything here. But you can you see this place? They said create a page. I said page name. Now, 
If you put a name here that has been acquired by somebody else, they will give you a red mark and tell you to change the name. They will even suggest name for you. So for you to build originality, building your, your Facebook page is not different than building an application or a website. It's still the same thing. And you can build for desktop and for what? Look at the top here. You can build for desktop and for mobile. If you click on this, you'll be able to see how your design looks on a mobile device. If you click on this, you will see how it looks on a desktop device. Also, once you now choose your name, once you choose the name you want to give it, you must also choose the category. The way you will achieve a, an excellent algorithm is in all of these details. Paying attention to these details, your creative process. So let's move on. And you can see now that I have this, a picture of mine. It's about, we're going to build a page about creativity and design. And about content production. And you can see here now, I said design content. I just gave you a name, a generic name. Just to be able to show you that. Now, when I gave you this, it gave me green. Because that name is not yet available. Sometimes, we will give you green and later reverse it because the name has been taken. So let's move on. And you can see, under that design content, the name has come into the page. Can you see the name? The name has come into design content. Design content, which is, the content is creativity and design. And you see what we have. And now you now see, you have to give it a short description of what that page is. Don't make it to be too long. People have very short attention span. They cannot comprehend a lot of stuff. And remember you are in Nigeria. People don't have money to buy a lot of data. They need to feed themselves too. So you must empathize with them. And empathizing is, a, is one of the stages of what? Of design thinking. So here now, you can see what I've said about it. I said content production for wealthy, healthy mind. Content production for wealthy, healthy mind. The description, the bulb is very simple. It's not complicated. These are the things that help you when you are designing in the social media space. And then from here, you move on. You can see now, I have a lot of pages. And then once you name it and everything, look at all the pages I have. Look at creativity and design there. I have Nigeria wedding pages. And so Nigeria is pages. All these pages I have. If I now move on, this is the page I created for creativity and design. And you can see some of our activities here. Can't you see how nice it is? Is this nice? Accept it if it's nice. Is it good? Is it good? Is it clear? See, once you look at this page, you should be able to see what it's all about without somebody explaining it to you. That's the idea. And that is why you see we now have a t-shirt promoting what? The page. All done within our what? Our creative class. Designing for the purpose. Human center. So when you move on now, you now see the video now I just said here. People will be laughing at me. Some people will be abusing me. But what am I getting? I'm getting what is called the viewers that will value the creation. And it's about food. See, food. So now we are going to, on Instagram, the same thing applies. On Instagram, on Instagram, the same thing applies. And across board, across, across format, you must sustain your identity. I already have an identity, which is my name, Olu Wale Aboyade. So I carry that to Instagram, and you can see my content is there. Look at some of the things we've done in this class. I'm sure, I, is there anybody that will say they've not seen something like this in this class? No. And it's making impact in the global space. So, you can see the content are there, the content are there, that's me. And we'll move to another one that I will show you. Okay, so this is the YouTube page. And you can see on the YouTube page, you can see the topics and everything. These are postgraduate students. These are postgraduate students. So let's move on. I have, look at this now. I have a page called Nigerian Wedding Things. I went to a wedding. Somebody invited me to a wedding, and I have my phone. And I said, let me just do a video to create content for my wedding channel. And I did the video, and I have 88,000 viewers in less than one week. Look at it. You 
my traditional wedding, and I left the TV more than I had 88,000 viewers in less than what? One week. Even the father of the bride called me and said, If I do, I will have given the video coverage to you. I said, I don't do that. <laughs> what I do is completely different. 88,000 viewers using this cell phone. If I monetize that channel, what do you think I will be making? A lot of money. But Facebook is not allowing Nigerians to monetize because they are discriminating against us. And I hope they will have the authority, the mind, the intelligence to change that. That's for Facebook. Facebook has been accused, even in America, of committing crimes against Americans. The children of Americans. And that's not good. It's not good in the celestial dimension, the physical dimension, and the spiritual dimension. Because we have our images. The presence of the Creator are in all our images. So Facebook, you need to move in the right direction. So you can see the YouTube channel, and this is my wedding channel. And you can see that I produce content unique to that channel. I don't mix them. The content for Creativity and Design class is not the content going to my wedding channel. That is purely design thinking. It is human-centered, it is well-classified. So we move on, and now let's move to this one now. When you go to a business now, you say, how do I now approach a business? This is a company in Ondo State. It's called Coco, and, and if you are from Ondo State, you must have heard about this, right? Now, this company, they approach me. They say, come and do something so that we can have a social media presence. I say, if you want to do it, we have to do it with design thinking to be human center. The first thing was to go to the community and bring out people in that community to wear their native attire and hold the product that is coming from that community. Not going to pay somebody who has no idea about that community to represent them. You do see what I'm saying? I did not go to America to go and bring a beautiful girl to come and hold the, the, their own product. It will sound very stupid. Your design thinking is not working if you do that. How can you go to America or Britain or China to go and bring a Chinese woman to hold cocoa water for you and you take a picture and you create your cocoa water? The people who are producing the cocoa, they are not human. So promote their culture with their product, you will retain originality. And you can see that the, I now created, I gave it a unique name, CocoaTV.Oluji. And when I created this now, imagine it's been a long time I created it for them. Today, I'm talking about it. Most of you that don't know about this product now, you know about the product. I'm still advertising them. I'm still adding value to them, even though they are not paying me. That is what we are saying. So, if design thinking allows me to factor in the environment, the culture, the language of those people. From there now, I move to this. And you can see, Facebook is even saying it is good. And that is good. So if you now move down, you see the type of the content you, on the page. When you create the page, people we have to see diversity about the environment, those people and their products. So it's a company, it's a big company in those states. Okay? So you can see they have people dancing, you can see the these are people from that environment. And I posted even our you now see how we are connected. The content of me cook, doing the cook show also belongs to that category because it's also about what? Nigerians. Yes. So you see how you diversify and connect your content to still be. That page that you saw is still under creativity and design. <laughs> and it's available online as well speaking. So you go from here, you can see this is a news agency. It's called Iroyi Yomba, all about your values. And you can see how this one works. See the excellence. Excellent algorithm. For you to achieve excellency on Facebook, you must have done something nobody has done before. That's the truth. Unless it is manipulated by people working in Facebook. And once they do that, they connect their mind on rest. So in this case now, you can see that same content was able to get your your And you can see your your Now, for this now, look at the kind of content I now created Designing to promote that specific product. You can see I did a small commercial for them. I went there to do something about the factory. These are the videos. I talked about
but the farmers grow the cocoa before they even get to the factory, before it gets to the can. I think different videos about them. And you see this empty manager there. So I created content to promote what their product is all about. Promote their environment, promote their culture, promote their values, promote their spirituality, promote their being. And you can see how that goes. Look at some of their products. If you go there now, it's there. Now, this is the dashboard most people don't see outside. Look at the communication from people looking at those content. One of them say, how can I get this cocoa tea? Can you see that? He says, how can I get this cocoa tea? And I say, how can I make a purchase? People are trying to buy from seeing what is credible. Because it, there's no Adobe Photoshop to beautify the whole thing and make it look as if it's a foreign product. It's not a foreign product. It is a local product by local people. And you must portray that locality. You must not take away from their culture and their identity. And you can see what that has done over here. People are trying to buy. Now if you move on, you see another person is giving a testimony from what they have seen and probably they bought the product. They said, very fine product. This is the conversation in the back end of Facebook. Look at this one. What kind of food do you specialize in? I please, I need to follow the father. How possible to get it? But we are in South Africa, all the way from South Africa. All the way from South Africa. Somebody saw that page I created in Nigeria, and they're trying to do what? Buy the product. And you can see, I gave them all that cocoa tea from so so and I gave them the information. Call the office directly and do your offering from there, or go and visit them. But this is why, when you create something like this, some people working in Facebook, who are into Yahoo, Yahoo dimension, they will go and steal the page and the information and be collecting money. That activity exists. And that is why you, as a creator, you must be able to stand the test of time by creating originality. By creating originality to sustain your creation. So in this case now, you can see what has happened here. So you can see what has happened here now. They are actually ordering from abroad. Now, this design thinking, is it a practical one or a fake one? This is true. This is reality. It is not fake. It's a reality that occurs. So in this case now, you saw how I use Facebook to do what? To create value for a community that exists. For a company that exists. Now, when you do something like this, everybody has enemies. You, you will have even people in your workplace that will see you doing this and they will be thinking of destroying you. You must know those people exist. But you have the responsibility to identify those people and also create the command for them. That unrest shall be their portion for eternity. Yes, that is why you go to church. That is why you go to church. So you can see how Christ that is. So you see that, uh, guys, you see that in design thinking, in design thinking, I was able to show you from what I'm wearing, from what I'm wearing, originality designed for a purpose, both of offline and online. The Kokoluji one was able to show you that you can what somebody did in a local environment and how it's becoming a product of value in the global space. There's nothing fake about this. And the ability to do this is accessible to every one of you across the world. The ability to do this is accessible to everyone. So that's the way it is. So, so now, let's have a